What up, everybody? We back on the radar from home. I got the one of the newest, hottest artists out the DMV. Young Manny, what's up, bro? West side, west side. How you doing? Is it dead? Hey, man, getting into it. So, Live, bro, from Brooklyn. <laughs> Live from Brooklyn. So when this interview is going to come out a little bit after, but as of today, you dropped your uh, your new single. Blessings, Correct. guys. And Correct. I have to tell you, you have the single in the video, and I have to tell you how much I love this song and video. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Because, like, the whole concept of the video of you being, like, a bystander to, like, all these different things going on is, like, super dope. And I love how the song um, fits the vibe of the video perfectly. So tell me a little bit about, like, the video and why you decided to uh, to to do this concept for the video and the song. Um. So um, one thing about me is, like, I'm really about putting my emotion and, you know, my, like, my real life, you know, into, like, meaning meaningful songs and, you know, in this hook specifically, I'm talking about, I say, you know, a girl that I'm pursuing, but um, she's not necessarily into me as much as I am. So, you know, that's causing me a lot of internal pain. And, you know, I'm just hoping that somehow out this pain, like, you know, a rainbow comes somewhere. You feel me? Because that's, that's been a lot of um, my life, you know, the domino effect. I really live by that. You feel me? Everything happened for a reason. So sometimes feel me stuff go wrong in the beginning and and then they end up for the better so that's just what this is about so in the video i was actually playing the guardian angel you feel me i really wasn't in the scene if you get i'm like a ghost kind of right yeah so, i got that to the back you know just standing there you know letting them feel it for real for real. that's it and it was so it was crazy because i you know i was watching a few of your other videos before and it was like such a like a, a different shift in tone for uh for your videos because i was watching um the video from Margiela with the mariachi band and shit like that mm -hmm. and i was like oh okay going from this to that is like a big a big change but i Correct. felt like your music also your music reflects that like i feel like there are times when you got music that's like popping and you know club joints but then you also could really get like in your bag with uh with some of your records yeah i, I really like to you know represent versatility you know i like i like using the word uncategorical categorizable is that is that i don't know how to, you get what i'm trying to say yeah you, you don't me? have you don't stick to like a category. bubble right yeah so you feel me i like i like to break the bubble every time somebody try to limit me and say this is what i do or whatever i try to pop out with something new you know so i can show that if you if you want to say i only do this i can do this for me i'm a jack of all trades for, for so. so tell so tell me about this new uh confused dp that's coming out at the end of the month talk to me so, about it um confused the album the album man this it's been a long year for me i say this is the longest i ever spent on a body of work you know for whatever reasons that may have you know obstacles that may have came up you know but right now it's about to come out you feel me it's it's that pain it's that it's that happiness it's that it's that joy you feel me it's all of that and that's why it's called confused for me because for me i had a lot of mixed emotions when you know, making this project, you feel me? I was, I was at my highest and my lowest point. So, and I definitely think this is my best project up to date. So, everybody got to tune in. You were, uh, so you just said that you were at your highest and lowest points at like while making this project. Like, talk Correct. to me about like how I don't know. I guess so let's start with the highest, and then we'll talk lowest. How did those moments uh, in your life this past year affect uh, the creation of this? I just say that you know, one thing is the biggest misconception about like. I guess being a rapper or a public figure that is that like clout or, or fame equals happiness, you know. When you say when you say you wanna be a rapper, you know, you you think of the house and the jewelry and all those things, but then you don't think of the you the negative sides of it, you feel me, like you feel me, being where you have to watch everywhere you go, people want everything from you, you feel me? You're expected to do everything, you feel me, you don't do something, people look at it wrong, so you know, I've I've experienced a lot of bends and breaks and relationships wherever I've gone and whatnot. But it's definitely been a, a a year. You feel me? I don't I don't look at anything as a loss. Everything's a lesson. So you feel me? Whatever happened, it was for the better. You know, I'm here, and it's just you know another step to add to my story. And so, but as far as the highs, man, I've I've done a lot of things, man, that I never <laughs> expected. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? I won't say too much. Been a couple clubs. You feel me? Travel. When we crossed the border, I've been to Mexico. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> but we ain't gonna talk too much about that. You feel me? Um, been to Cali, Atlanta, all that, mm -hmm. all the above. You feel me? I'm really doing my thing. So I'm, I'm grateful. All glory to God. 
And I feel like, you know, as a young artist, how do you balance, I guess, living like your regular life with like, um, you know, being a rapper and making music? Because, you, you know, I've talked to, um, I talked to this dude a few months ago. His name's too generous. He's 16 and he's out of California. And I feel right. like, you know, what's most interesting about, you know, you younger artists is that you guys have like a lot more to juggle in terms of like life stuff going on. So like, right. talk to me about like balancing everything. You feel me? It's like, it's, it's a little different than, you know, the average artist that might be 21 or 22 that's out of college, that's dropped out, decided that rap is what they want to fully pursue, nothing else, you feel me? Whereas me, you feel me, I'm, I'm in a household with, you know, uh, Nigerian parents that, you know, stand <laughs> for education, mm -hmm. you feel me? Uh, I'm really big on my relationship with God, so yeah, I got finished school, you feel me? This year I actually took off, and I actually graduated. I'm I'm about to graduate now, but I wasn't supposed to graduate for a couple of years. You feel me? I got to speed up the process and whatnot, right. you know, to you know be able to pursue what I really want to do. So it's it's a little hard, you know. Everybody everybody isn't prepared for you know what I what I've been having to go through and whatnot. But I don't say that with no cockiness or anything. It's it's just been really a you know a huge life lesson, and I'm grateful that I've gone through it again. Well, first so, of all, congrats on, on graduating, bro. Like, that's, you know. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. God bless. That's still a big thing, even though, you know, we, we in the quarantine. So do you have, like, any plans to, like, do college, or are you going to do the music and focus on that? Nah. Um, or are you going to do I'm, both? I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm definitely looking into both. I'm just trying to make my folks happy, you know, at the end of the day. That's what I stand for, you feel me? Right. Man, that don't stand for anything, fall. I mean, stand for something, fall for anything, so. You feel it, me? I gotta, I gotta, you know, get it in. That's all I can say. It's crazy, bro, because I feel like you've been through so much already at, at such a uh, young age. And that's like when I was watching, bringing it back to the Blessings in Disguise video, I was like, okay, so he's talking on some, he's talking on some real shit. And I'm like, damn, like, what has he gone through up to this point in his life already that he's like able to talk about these things? But you do such a good job with it, too. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I just like, you know, I, I really say, like, I feel like I was, again, I don't mean this with no cogniness, but I really <laughs> feel like God destined for me to be somebody, you know, important or whatnot, you feel me? I feel like I've taken a different route than everybody else, you know, but, um, you know, slow, slow, a slow path to success builds character and a rapid path, you feel me, builds ego. So, you feel me, I'm taking it, you feel me, with a grain of salt. That makes sense, you feel me? And you know, just I'm blessed, you feel me? Like I don't really learned a lot. I don't, I don't like to speak too much on personal stuff. You feel me? Put my inner, uh, my my personal business out there too too much. But I, I done been through. I done been through hell, man. I <laughs> right. can tell you that. You feel me? With people, with with this industry, with mm. school, with family, man. But I'm 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 definitely grateful for my family. You feel me? That you know the support system I have, my brothers and all that. Mm -hmm. Free my man, bam, you know what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> and being from the DMV, so as someone who's not as hip to, uh, to like, the DMV, like, culture and hip-hop scene, who are some other, like, DMV artists that we got to that we gotta be looking out for besides yourself, of course? Um, well, I ain't going to lie. I only, I only tune in to gang, for real, for my, <laughs> my friends around me. From me. I, I right. don't really – I'm not going to lie. I don't really – it's it's more than music to me. You feel me? I listen to music, mm -hmm. but I like to connect. I like to know that she's a good person at heart and what you're saying. You feel me? I don't know. I just like more than just sonics to the ears. You feel me? I mess with everybody from Hill Me, you know. I got my my, my man Fooly. Got my mm -hmm. man Drizzy FFS. You feel me? Coming coming out the cut. <laughs> <laughs> my man G Star, you feel me? Whole gang, you feel me? But um I definitely mess with IDK, Rico Nasty, to name a few. Uh, oh, you did something. Something with IDK just dropped. Yeah, too. that's why I said I got two songs that dropped today. I forgot about that record. I'm sorry. My apologies. So talk to me about that record. How'd you link up with IDK on that? Uh, that's my dog. Actually, a lot of things people don't know. Uh, some people don't know is he he used to um he used to really cut hair like my brother's hair and whatnot. So like when oh, wow. he was grinding it from the from the startup man, that's why I really salute him, man. He really. He really stayed down for what he got, man. It wasn't it wasn't no fast, it wasn't no you feel me, zoom, but you feel me, like I said, it builds character and you feel me, now I can see you feel me every inch of what he got, you know, he really worked for it. He really he really reaped what he sold. So 
you know, he used to come out by his head, you know, we from the same city for around the same area. And, you know, so he reached out to me in my earliest stages and always been like a big brother advising me. So I'm really grateful for that. So dope, man. Dope. Well, I want to thank you again for coming and chopping it up with me today. Um, let the people know uh, what you what else you got coming up after the, the project drops and uh, what else they got to know. Like I said, man, Confused, the album's the best album coming out of the DMV, <laughs> coming out the East Coast. Talk your from, shit. Man, from the, if you if you split the U.S. in half and just East and West, it's the best in the East. And then, yeah. you feel me, it's the best in America. And if you really want to get deeper, it's the best in North America. And if you want to really do it, it's the best of the world. You feel me? Because that, that's how I'm coming. You feel me? Young man, you know what it is. You feel me? The youngest really doing it, getting it. You feel me? The realest. You feel me? Because that matters. You feel me? You know, tune in. You feel me on Instagram? Um, you can catch me at Young Manny. That's Y U N G, no O in the oh. Young. M A double N Y Manny. You feel me? And on uh, Twitter, it's It's Young Manny. You feel me? That's I T S Y U N G M A N N Y. Until you feel me, I change it, you know. And Until you change so, it back to, to, to <laughs> just at Young Manny. <laughs> yeah, man. Some, some little weirdo guy that he not even using. He tried to say, oh, yeah, I need 10,000 for this. 10,000, yo, why they be playing y'all like that? You like the fifth person that told me that people been trying to charge them 10K for, for their name nah, on, uh, look, on social media. Look, you feel me? I got, when I got spare time, you feel me, I make fake accounts, I make like 10, like 10 fake accounts a day, you feel me? And I report them, you feel me? Like, all day, that's all I do, you feel me? So that, that boy pay is gonna be gone and I'm gonna get that name, no cap, no cap. Boom, there it is. Yo, man, he gonna get his Twitter back, y'all. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Young Manny on the radar.